Welcome to the bottom shelf. I'm Josh. I'm Keith. And I'm Eric. <laughs> and this is a bottle of whiskey. <laughs> Do I redo that? Nope. Roll intro. <laughs> What's my inspiration here? I don't know. But on this channel, you are going to see a bunch of whiskey that is under three dollars uh, before tax, and we're going to do some reviews blind. Joyce, would you mind telling our viewers at home what we're drinking today? Today, you are drinking Bushmills Original. Bushmills Original is a blended Irish whiskey from the Bushmills Distillery in Northern Ireland. It comes in at eighty proof with no age statement. We paid $20 for our bottle, with it usually costing around $25. As always, your prices may vary. Enjoy! Thanks, Joyce. So I know what we're drinking. You know what we're drinking. These guys have no idea what they're drinking. So let's see what they think. Scotch. That's, that's interesting that you think that. Yeah, I don't know. And, uh, I can tell the yeah the one, color the color is very light yeah the color is very light which leads me to a scotch what are you getting on the nose white pepper mm. white pepper white pepper kind of salty a little bit white pepper and salt is definitely we need a little bit of sweetness on the on the nose. Personally, just a little bit, just a little bit of sweetness. I'm not quite sure what it is though. I think I would associate with maybe like a little bit of a honey. Honey, okay. I'm gonna go in for the taste. Before I taste, I'm going to ask: mm -hmm. Are you using any? Blended bourbons like Evan Williams honey or... No, nothing flavored. Okay. So now you know, nothing flavored on the show. Little bit of smoky peat. I am going to stick with my... You're going to stick with scotch? I'm going to stick with the scotch. Obviously a blended. Okay. Why is that obvious? Because the... The tastes are so complex, or it, it's like I'm getting hit from all sides, and that just makes me think that there's at least three different types of scotches. It is a very complex taste. Okay. Yeah. What kind of things you're getting on the? Getting a salty taste too. Salty taste. Okay. Yeah. Earth. A little earthy. Look okay. Earthy. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, that would be the smoky peat that I was picking up. Um, I think I'm getting a little bit of wood. Like, I mean that earth, but I think it's more of a wood note than it is a... than it is of a peat. Like, I'm not getting a peat. Going back to the nose, I'm also getting like, like a, a lemongrass. Or maybe like honey, grassy honey. Is that what honeysuckle smells like? Grassy honey? No. No? Okay. Not to me, anyway. Alright. I, I can't, like, pinpoint any tastes. Because it's so complex. Like, I can, I, guess, taste, I can taste the wood that you're... Yeah. But it's not oak. But it's which sweet. Is, yeah. Which it's, is confusing, because you'd think oak barrel... Yeah. Oak taste... But if it is a scotch, um, it wouldn't be a new oak barrel. So we, you wouldn't get the same like right. impact like a bourbon would because right. it's not new. Um, they do generally rechar it, I think. Um, do you want to add water? Sure, I'll take a drop yeah. or two. I might need a drop or two of whatever that is, too. Oh, I'm getting more of the pepper note on the nose now that you're... Like, there's still a little bit of sweetness there, but like that. And the water is like kicking up the honey flavor. Yeah. On the, on the palate? Yep. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's, it's actually smoother. Yeah, that's actually really good. Yeah. I was not thinking I like it a whole lot better with this couple drops of water. Huh. 
smoother, tones it down a lot. <laughs> you drank all of it. No, there's still a drop in there. Okay. <laughs> we can't let anything go to waste. <laughs> all right. Eric, how would some pepper, honey, salt? Mm-hmm. All right. So, let's do, let's do ratings. I'm not overly impressed with the nose. Like, it's there, but I'd, I'd probably give it, like, a three. I'm going to give it a two. Two. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to stick with a two, two and a half, because it's, it's just typical nose that you would get. I, nothing blew me away. It's very average. Okay. Right. All right, palette. Same, two and a half to a three. Yeah, I'm going to go two, two and a half. All right. Yeah, I'll give it 2.5 on the And finish. It's not very... There's not much to the finish. It's very short. Yeah. Yeah. It's a very short finish. Um, leaves the back of your tongue a little bit dry. So I think it's that oak taste is like leaving your back of your tongue a little dry. More. I'm, it's dry here. Okay, like around the outside of your mouth? Yeah. Well, on the inside, but in my cheeks here. Yeah. Okay. Like the back, like inside back. Yeah. Uh, front. Yeah. Oh, oh. Yeah. 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 Okay. yeah. yeah, it leaves it dry there. Gives it I, almost a sour grape. Okay. Bad wine. I can see that. Yeah. Sour grape. No. All right. Sour grape on the finish. But again, it's still short. Oh, there's, there's a little bit that lingers there, but this, it's just the wood, like the wood note that's like lingering. Yeah. yeah. But it's the overall the finish is very short. Doesn't really leave. The more. longer I wait, the more I'm feeling like okay, yeah, there's some wood, like yeah, woody tastes. I just I give the, I still I, I don't mind the finish. I like I think there's a decent amount of I think flavor that might be there the best for part of it to me. Yeah, I'm, like, I'm giving that like still a three as well. Like, I like the nose. The palate is like okay, but the, the palate, the nose and finish, I I really enjoy. So I'm gonna give that a three. Personally, I'll give it a three as well. Mm -hmm. All right, so time for re reveal time. Do you guys want to guess what the proof is? What the proof is? Yeah. Oh, um, I'm going to go with probably 90. Going with right about there. I think it's a little higher, like 92. All right. Based on that face, I'm going to say it's probably a little lower. It's much lower. All right, this is Bushmills Original. Mm. So that is a blended Irish whiskey. Okay. So uh, same sort of idea as blended Scotch. Uh, mm -hmm. So it is neutral grains, uh, not neutral grains, but grain grain whiskey uh, blended. Um, that was like aged and blended with malt whiskey, um, unmalted and malted mm -hmm. uh, barley. Uh, but it is eighty proof, so low as can be. Pull out my notes here. So yeah, so this is a Irish whiskey. Um, it's aged for five years. Now it's aged in, and this is actually from Northern Ireland, not just, so it's Irish whiskey, but it's actually aged in Northern Ireland. So it's, and it's actually at the very top of Northern Ireland, like the furthest you can go in Northern Ireland. Uh, so colder climate, you're not gonna get as much wood. Closer to the sea? Closer, it's close to the sea. Yeah, so I ran the sea. The salty. So yeah, salty yeah. actually makes sense. Um, and, it's actually, the distillery is actually owned by Jose Cuervo. Huh. Yeah. Uh, so mash bill is single malt and single green whiskeys. Um, the, it's aged in old, bar old bourbon barrels and Spanish Oloroso sherry casks. So I'm actually surprised we didn't get that much fruit on that, uh, considering that they're, it is aged in sherry. Um, let's see here. So, but what percentage of, since it's a blended whiskey, what percentage of the pour or of the dump is from the sherry casks and what yeah, percentage that, is from the bourbon casks, that would make a big difference on the notes that come out. Yeah, yeah, it would. Yeah, I'm not, and I'm not positive. I, just, I couldn't find anything saying that much level. Um, I right. don't think I've ever seen that high of a level of like, information, except for on like compass box blends. Mm -hmm. um, which tend to be lower in amount of uh, blending. Uh, so 
this is comparable to like a, a Jameson. So if you drink Jameson at home, they might like this as well. Um, there's a lot of jokes that say like Jameson is the Catholic version of Irish whiskey and Bushmills is the Presbyterian version. So as a Presbyterian, I typically grab up Bushmills, but Jameson's more widely available. And we'll do an episode on that eventually. Uh, so Distiller gave this, so this is Distiller and Whiskey Advocate, their ratings are out of 100. And Distiller gave it a 84. And Whiskey Advocate gave it an 86. Uh, and the last site that I use for rating is Proof Proof 66. Their ratings don't always stay consistent because it depends on how recently they've been given awards, what, and um, the what it's out of also changes based on their metrics. Uh, when I was breaking up the writing up the notes, they gave it a 549 out of 782. So that is the, uh, like I said, it's a very, they have a very complex system, but I really actually enjoy their site because they give a lot of information on uh, the whiskey and uh, the awards it's won in recent years. Now this is uh, a main staple of Bushmills, so they probably don't send it out for um, contests as much because uh, it's their main line. Um, and some distilleries, they just stop sending things out when they have enough. And it's a wide, widely known whiskey. So common, uh, common noses and notes for tasting. The top notes for nose was vanilla, green apple, spice, creme brulee, caramel, and honey. Which I don't be honest, you guys did not pick up a lot of those. That just doesn't mean that you're wrong. Just yeah, I just wasn't getting those things. Yeah, and I'm gonna go back. I just need a little more. Mm. I could see vanilla. Yeah, going back. Maybe okay. the caramel now that I know it's supposed to. But well, not, not supposed to, just. Yeah. And then on the palate, uh, most common notes were honey, vanilla, and then like grain, cereal, malty notes. So just general, like general whiskey. Grain notes. notes. Yeah. Finish, fresh, crisp, sweet, and spice with a short finish. Don't finish short finish. I'm honestly picking up the creme brulee. brulee yeah, I'm getting a lot more sweet notes now we're going back, but that's probably yeah. the power suggestion. Could be. Could be. All right. It could be that I I biased myself by saying it was a scotch, so I'm like, I can't be smelling vanilla or yeah. caramel because that's a bourbon typical. I just need a little bit. <laughs> so I could have biased myself from the very beginning. That's possible. All right, so price. Let's talk about price. Typically, this bottle costs around twenty-five dollars. Uh, we paid twenty for it, but that was on a sale. Uh, it's around twenty-five. Okay. Um, now we didn't, haven't compared a lot of things yet to look at price and quality and everything, uh, but this is cheaper than Jameson is. So if you've had Jameson, you can compare it to that. Um, Jameson usually runs around twenty-nine dollars or twenty-nine to thirty, um, at least in our area. Your prices may vary at home. Worth that price? Just do like a general like thumbs down, thumbs up quality. Of I've worth the sale price that you got it. Sale price. Okay. Worth worth the sale price. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I probably wouldn't pick it up at twenty five. I'd I'd say twenty three would probably be the highest I'd go. <laughs> All right. Well, that's our review. Bushmills, but I'm cheap. So well, that's the whole entire point of the channel. Yeah. So. so if you're watching this channel, you're probably cheap too. So this were thumbs up at sales price, sale price, $23. Anything above that, eh. Yeah, if, if I'm looking at this at 25 and Jameson at 29, I'm going with the Jameson. I'm probably gonna pick up the Jameson. Now I'm really curious to see what you guys how you guys feel after our budget battle episode with this and Jameson in it. Once we get to that point. Alright, well. We're gonna start, we're gonna end our videos on a toast. So this is the first episode that we're doing. So bear with us with production value and all that and our memorization of our new toast. But we felt that this toast was appropriate for a channel such as ours. And I'll start us off. May the winds of fortune sail you. May you sail a gentle sea. May it always be the other guy who says, this, this drink song me. me.